Hello class! Thank you for tuning into this video. This video is about facts versus opinion. A very important topic that we'll be moving forward really quickly in this video. I'm going to try and make this video faster than the last take. Why are we learning about this? Why are facts and opinion so important? It is a very valuable skill. Now in this course, we're going to be learning a lot of exciting and interesting content. And some content you may remember for five years or 10 years, some you will forget. But skills, 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 you want to be able to practice, practice, and reuse, and keep them with you for the rest of your life. That's why knowing the difference between facts and opinion is such an exciting and powerful skill. Now, it connects to several areas, including life skills and critical thinking skills. An example of a life skill is just knowing whether you should trust and believe in an advertisement that every single human being in this planet probably needs to do in this 21st century. Also, with critical thinking skills, it's a very valuable, important skill to go on to uh, grade 11, grade 12, and of course, university. Also, it allows you to reflect on how much facts or opinions influence your decisions. Now, one source I looked at says that opinions do not influence decisions and choices and change, but that's not necessarily true because sometimes somebody may have a passionate opinion which convinces people because of their emotion and passion um, and other aspects that they say in their opinion. So you want to really think about um, the facts. However, many people look for the science, the evidence behind the facts, and they're more likely to be persuaded to make a different decision if the science, the evidence supports the facts. Keywords to highlight and find the difference between opinions and facts is when you're doing readings, you look in the reading to see if you see in the sentence the words most, best, greatest, worst, Top 10 reasons is another one in videos. In conclusion, here's some more terms from Scholastic. I am convinced, I love that one. Always, never. Okay, those really say opinion. Not compared to sometimes, may, maybe, definitely is another one that says this is an opinion. Terrible, unfair. Those are all really powerful opinion words that say, hey, Somebody is writing or talking about their opinion. Examples of opinion phrases. Did you know that many people believe? It is common knowledge that this politician is crazy. Okay, that is an opinion. Um, ice cream is the best food for your health. What? Okay, within facts, opinions, you can also have lies. So you have to also think about is this Truth, fact, opinion, or a full-on lie. Now, every different person will have a different opinion about what is the best food for your health, but what is a fact? What does the science say is good food for your health? And that's something that's valuable to every human being on this planet, whether you go to university or not. Quote from 13 Health Benefits of Coffee Based on Science. Ooh, credentials. So we can see right here, we've got a name, we've got credentials, and we've got an organization. That allows us to look into who is this person, who is this organization, and we can think about do we trust this person and do we trust this organization. Also, this person has this word here, may, which means they're not using those super strong words like always must be. They're using maybe one of the healthiest aspects of the diet. That gives the flavor of a scientific written article. Also, here their point has sources in brackets. Three different sources supporting their point. That shows that this is more likely to be a trustworthy article because at least they have sources. Now to go further you would have to look into what are those sources. Now, more about facts versus opinion. Okay, some high things to highlight from this chart. Meaning, fact refers to something that can be verified or proved to be true. Opinion refers to a judgment or belief about something. Facts are based on observation or research or 
scientific research methodology. Opinions are based on assumption or personal view. Now another word I want to highlight is verification. This one here is, you can ask yourself the question, is this fact possible to check? Can I verify it? If you can check it out, if you can look at other sources of information to see if it's factual and or true, that means it's possible to verify, it's possible to check. If somebody says, ah, uh, that person did the worst mistake ever, period. What? That person? Unclear. Worst mistake? Unclear. What was the mistake? Hard to check. You can't verify that. You can't fact check that kind of a statement. If they give a little bit more information, still, can you fact check that? Can you look at other sources to clarify that information? Now here, the, the bottom debatable one, influence. Facts have, has the power to influence others. Opinion does not have the power to influence others. This is where I might disagree and say that Mm, passionate oratory, passionate opinion without facts has influenced the course of world history in important ways. And uh, I could talk about examples of that for a long time. Okay, moving on. The source of that chart was Lakehead University. Changing the world, the information age, in the exciting new information age that we live in today, there's so much fun and joy from all the information and entertainment. But with all the information and entertainment, we have an extra responsibility to ourselves and our community to think, think, think about the information we're receiving in the information age, where information is the new form of wealth and power. More advertising. Is the advertising true? Is it honest? Is it important? Is it factual? Is it scientific? Or is it emotional? Is it opinion? And this is an example of where advertising using opinion could influence people. More information. There's so much information to go through that we have to get really good at thinking about the information. And the internet. Ah, oh, thank you for the internet. However, with the internet comes more power and more responsibility. I've heard that from somewhere before to quote, Spider-Man's uncle. Um, online publishing is more accessible to anybody. So everybody can publish in many platforms, including, of course, YouTube. Um, internet. Information is distributed differently. So there's also social media. Now, in the past, there's all been all kinds of traditions and methods for publishers to think about, well, will they publish something, including a peer review process. Now, anybody can open a website and say anything on any topic, and you have to think, is this a, a source? Is this a, a trustworthy source? Do they have credentials? Is this the website of a trustworthy organization that has um, demonstrated trust over time. Is this a university? Is this a government? Can I trust this government? Has this government shown that they can be trustworthy over time with this government website? Some governments are more trustworthy than others. Some universities may be more reputable than others. Some organizations may be more reputable than others. So you want to think about your sources um, and also where the funding comes from for that particular source of information. Is it paid for funding? Who pays for that information? Okay, moving on. Recommended video for extra learning. I would recommend going further to research this on YouTube if you're interested in going further with this topic. The video, the blur between facts and opinions in the media with always when you look at a video on YouTube, you want to think about the source. Do you trust that source? What is that person's credentials? What organization do they work for? What's the bias of the organization? Are they being paid by a certain organization to fund what they are saying? Read the credentials and comments to help yourself decide if you trust 
this source of information. If you still don't know, you can Google the individual's name, you can Google the organization and see what, you can put in organization review um, individual and find out whether you trust that person, that in, uh, organization. But do your research to think about, should you trust that? Is it a fact or is it opinion? In the 21st century of the information age, it's everybody's responsibility to think. Remember, be calm, be kind, and be safe. A wise person once said this, named Bonnie Henry, and there's a lot of wisdom to these words. Why? Because these words are so foundational to social emotional learning and our Canadian identity. But we'll save that topic for another time. Just remember, it's very important to be kind, calm, it's very important to be kind, and it's very important to be safe. And I just said that these three words are important to our Canadian identity. What? I just said that, but that is an opinion, my opinion. It's not a fact. You may have a different opinion. Maybe you think there's another word that's important to our Canadian identity. Something to think. If you were going to say, what are the three words that are most important to the Canadian identity? Which words would you choose? Think about that thought. And remember to be calm, be kind, and be safe. Outtakes. Ah! I forgot my line. What was my line? Okay, I've got a really great joke for you. Oh, here's how it goes. Once upon a time, there was a... Cut, sorry, we gotta stop that joke. No, edit, edit, cut, censor. No, 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 don't use that joke. Okay, should we use this joke? Three, two, one, cut! No, don't use that joke. It's not funny enough. That one's just boring. Uh, you're gonna show that you're just really old if you use that joke. Just don't do that one.